Hi, I'm the Thirteenth Wolfman, and today I'm gonna I'm gonna review and break down for you Asylum's The Legend of Bloody Jack. Well, let's do the breakdown first. The case is nice. Again, you get disc art. Again, no inserts. You know, nothing really. Uh, I do like the cover. The cover is nice. It's got that, and then on the back, it definitely has like an old school look on the back. Um, the the cover is a little deceptive though, because you could see all these all these bodies here hanging from the hanging from the trees, and um, that scene's not in the movie. Sorry to break it to you guys, but spoiler, uh, it does come. This movie has a lot of extras on it. The extras alone are the behind the scenes, uh, the making of blood. You know, the making of The Legend of Bloody Jack, the storyboards versus the film, bringing the bloody black, bloody Jack to life, behind the blood, the special effects, audition montages, outtakes, and there's even one about the makeup. And uh, it's a 5.1 surround plus 2.0 stereo. Again, really great sound, a really great look of the film. There were some scenes that looked a little grainy when they would do like close-ups of some some stuff. Uh, kind of had a grainy look to it, but I think that was intentional because they're really trying to refer to it as a modern '70s horror classic. So I thought maybe they try to give it a little bit of a of a '70s look. So now the movie itself, the movie itself looked good. It sounded good. Some of the acting was was pretty decent. Um, this is the director's cut, and it's really weird because the director's cut has like it has like a tons of full front, not full frontal, but topless nudity um, when it comes to the women. But the the gore, the the beheadings, and the, you know, you get to see the after effect. You know, they're they're spurting blood all over the place, and they're it's there and it's on the people, but you don't really get to see like the detail. I think you get to see one decent decapitation, you know. Um, so I'm kind of curious if that was the director's choice to take out all the visual violence and replace it with the uh, this is what this the aftermath look, you know. Because like I said, I don't know. This is that's this is the only one I got. Now the story, again, much like the movie Eleven, Eleven, Eleven. The story could have defined itself a little bit better. At the very beginning of this movie, you meet this couple up in the up in the woods of California, and one kid, one guy's going to college, and he wants to do a some kind of like dissertation or something on Bloody Jack, who he's related to. And that's pretty much all we know. He brought up a diary of Bloody Jacks that has incantations and spells in it. And um, and he resurrects Bloody Jack. But we really don't know anything about Bloody Jack. Why, why is Bloody Jack even called... To the movie title itself, The Legend of Bloody Jack, is kind of deceptive because you don't really learn the legend of Bloody Jack. Um... You you find out that Bloody Jack. All I know about Bloody Jack is that he was a a lumberjack, and he killed people. You know so. So, Bloody Jack does get resurrected, and he starts whacking people and killing them off. Um, even killed off his kin. You know the kid that the the guy that resurrected him. Fast forward, you know, two days later, and then there, we've got these, we got these other, I don't know, young adults, I guess is what you call them. I don't want to call them teenagers, because they're not. At least they didn't seem like it. They seem a lot, you know, young adults, college, maybe a little bit after college, you know, type of, type of age. And, um, they're up in the woods, they're hanging out at this cabin, and one of them, I think there's... There's seven in total. There's like three couples and then the single guy. You know how that goes. There's always one that's like... The single guy is telling the story that he heard down the road at the gas station about the two... About the couple 
that went missing two days ago. And they just, you know, write it off as a urban legend. Well, that guy told you told you the story. It's a story of a friend of a friend of a, and that's fine. Um, I don't want to give too much away. I would definitely say see this movie. the The ending is I liked the ending. The ending was kind of cool. Um, I really didn't see the ending coming, you know. So, again, is this a rental? Is this a buy? Or is this a or is this cable? I'm gonna play it safe again. I'm sorry. I say rent it if you like it. Buy it. Um, would if I was in the store, would I have bought this? I probably would have just just on a curiosity of the cover alone and the references to the to the modern '70s horror classic. I probably would have bought this just to see what you know what it's like. Would I have been disappointed afterwards? Like I said, the story needs to be defined a little bit better. But other than that, I, I was happy with the outcome of the movie, so I give this two and two and three quarter chainsaws and that is my review I'm the 13th Wolfman I'm on the prowl